Hey, I'm Srini, the creator of Maximize Your Output and host of the Unmistakable Creative Podcast. And in this video, I'm going to show you why you don't actually need folders inside of MEM. For a lot of people, when they first log into MEM, it can be really confusing because of the fact that there are no folders. But as you'll see in this video, through the use of tags and bi-directional links, MEM actually allows you to build a digital system that organizes itself. I was talking to Dennis, one of the founders of MEM recently, and I've been working on an article about the disadvantage of folders for knowledge management. And one of the things he said is that a world without folders will be our default five years from now, people just don't know it. And the thing is that this is actually really hard to comprehend until you've been using MEM for a while now. So if you've used other note-taking apps and if you log into MEM, one of the things you'll notice is that there doesn't seem to be some sort of organizational structure. And in most note-taking apps, you have some sort of hierarchy or, or folder structure in which you organize things. And the key to understanding this and understanding how to organize information and, and why you actually don't almost need to, and you can completely get rid of folders in MEM, is to understand the distinction between a network and a hierarchy. And these definitions actually come from Tiago Forte. He has this really great article on tagging for personal knowledge management. And he talks about hierarchies as systems of nested groups, like an organizational chart or bureaucracies, and they're inherently top down where everything is controlled from a single privileged position. So take folders, for example. A folder for something like a project is the sort of single privileged position. It's that top folder. Now, then you have to drill down into every single folder and you find whatever information you need. And this is actually a really inefficient way to do knowledge work, to do creative work of any kind. A network has no correct orientation. It's no bottom and no top. And that becomes very apparent right here. All you have to do is you can see every single note that I have, where I've ever mentioned Tiago Forte, is right there. Which means that if I want to retrieve any knowledge or information from things I've learned from Tiago, I don't have to go sifting through folders, visit a bunch of websites. It's all right here. Because of the fact that inside MEM, you're building a network. You're not building a system where you store information. And there's a distinction that I've come to as I've used MEM more and more over the last couple of weeks. And that's this distinction between personal knowledge management and personal knowledge generation. And the truth is that we're not archivists. We're not building a library of Congress so we can just have this archive of information. Ideally, you want to be able to do something with your notes. And in a network, you have far more capability to do this with your notes. Let me show you an example. So right now, I've been working on this article about the disadvantages of folders for personal knowledge management. And that article is done. It'll be on Medium probably by the time you're watching this. You can see here that I actually didn't write this article all in one go. It's basically a combination of notes, all of which live inside of my database. In fact, I wrote each one of these notes separately after having a conversation with Dennis about the disadvantage of folders. I just suddenly came up with this idea and I started to just jot down ideas one by one. And you can see I pulled a lot of these ideas from notes that were already inside of MEM using bi-directional links and tags. So you can see, if I just click on this tag, the disadvantages folders, every single note related to that tag just shows up there. Which means if I want to remember anything related to this, then I don't have to go to a million different places just to figure out where the hell that came from. And so what ends up happening is that you end up having this system in which everything is accessible. Everything is interconnected. And no matter where you capture something, it's always there. And you don't actually have to remember where you put it anymore. You can see here that if I wanted to, I can just go through and scroll through my timeline of all the various notes that I've captured. And so let's say I want to look at the Unmistakable Creative Podcast, which is the podcast I host. If we just go in and do a search for Unmistakable Creative Podcast, pretty much everything related to the Unmistakable Creative Podcast, transcripts, notes from books, articles that I'm writing that reference it, everything, all right there. All because of a simple tag, as opposed to taking the time to create a folder, store the right information in that folder, get that information out of that folder when I need it. As you start to organize information this way, 
you start to see the disadvantages of folders for organizing information. It's a really inefficient way to organize information when you have to go to 50 different places just to find what you need. But with this, you're able to just capture ideas as they come to you. You don't have to finish things that you start and not be able to use them again. Take the example of something like writing a blog post. Most people say, okay, I need to write this first draft in you know one hour. I need to just dive deep into this. And you know, if I can't get it done then, you know, what am I gonna do? And not only that, you might have an idea, for example, that you are not ready to take action on, that you wanna include in that article. And the beauty of mem is you can just literally create a mem and link it to the original article and pick up where you left off. No folders, no spreadsheets, nothing. It's all just right there. So the thing that really has become apparent to me is that this actually is a very powerful way to organize information. In fact, you'll see when I publish this article, I realized most of the problems of modern knowledge work are a problem of how we organize information. And most of the ways that we try to deal with those problems like digital distraction blockers, like organizing information in folders, like Pomodoro, all those alleviate the symptoms of the biggest problem of all, which is how we organize information. You need a critical mass of knowledge before all of this starts to make sense. So when you first start, there's nothing inside of there. And what's happening inside of MEM is really network effects applied to personal knowledge management. What do I mean by that? So take something like Facebook or the phone or the fax machine. It's useless if nobody else has one. But when somebody else has one, that's when the tool starts to become useful. And as more and more people have it, then it becomes more and more useful. This is the same thing. It's just you're applying it to information instead of people. So the more notes that you inside of your mem database, the more valuable your mem database becomes. I realize this has been a different kind of video where I didn't actually give you a step-by-step -step tutorial. I, that's actually what I intended, but I think this is actually a bit more useful. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out our free course on how to take better book notes. I'll include a link in the description below.